If you encounter a hazardous chemical spill, please alert the facilities division immediately. I'm glad to see you return safely. I know the task was difficult, but I needed you to see firsthand how dangerous a rogue synth can be. Why do you care what happens on the surface? You're in your own world down here. Because there are forces on the surface that could pose a threat to us. And only a fool ignores a possible threat. We might diminish that danger by correcting the false perception that we intend some great harm to mankind. But enough about that. The task is done. And you've returned our synth safely to us. I couldn't have hoped for a better outcome. Uh, well done. While you were away, I had quarters prepared for you. You'll find all the basic necessities, as well as a generous stock of arms and equipment. Go and have a look. I think you'll be quite pleased. Please don't get any germs on me. Scents aren't human beings. But supposedly, they're the future of humanity. I'll never understand it. Your new quarters are here, ma'am. When you're finished here, ma'am, father wants to see you. Hey. It was an honor to fight at your side. Your presence here is a great gift. Not just to Father, but to all of us. Ah. Hello, Mother. Tell me. What would you do when someone has stolen from you? After everything I've been through to find you, I think you already know. I'm sorry, Mother. Of course, you're right. The group that calls themselves the Railroad have acquired several synths from the Institute. Synths that had gone missing in recent months. They no doubt mean to free these synths, in their delusion that synths are somehow... sentient beings. You've been in contact with the Railroad, so you're aware of their misguided beliefs. They mean well. They're only doing what they think is right. You doubt with Libertalia. That's the result of their selfish, short-sighted plan. 
Usually they are a minor nuisance, but lately they have become more emboldened. I'm afraid we've reached the point where a response is necessary. We have learned the current location of these synths, and need to reacquire them before the railroad can hide them. I'm not sure why you'd bother. Aside from taking back our property, we must teach them a lesson, as it were. And quickly at that. But it's important that we act on this soon, before the railroad has any indication we've tracked them. We also don't want the Brotherhood of Steel getting wind of the presence of the Synths. That would only complicate matters. Seriously, this is a waste of my time. Like many things at the Institute, this has ramifications beyond the immediate objective. Keep that in mind. A Corso will be waiting for you near Bunker Hill. You'll need him. Sean? Bunker Hill must be dealt with, if for no other reason than to make a point. Hey you. Randolph's safe house has been MIA since Switchboard, but now we got one of their dead drops tagged. Des wants you to check it out. Checking out dead drops is your job. Not when it could be a big old trap from the Institute. Once you take care of the dead drop, report in to Des. I just heard the most fascinating rumor. The story goes that you actually found the Institute. Been there and back again. Sounds crazy, right? It's all true. Deacon says you used teleportation. I can't imagine. You must feel justifiably proud of what your Minutemen have achieved in such a short time. Eventually, the Minutemen will devise their own plan to deal with the Institute. But I doubt your soldiers will place any priority on rescuing the Synths inside. I'm counting on you being as passionate about freeing Synths as we are. Please, work with us instead. A response would be appreciated. <sighs> A response would be appreciated. You think the Minutemen won't help the Synths? The Minutemen are a reflection of the character of the Commonwealth people. And time and time again, that character has been proven to be rotten. The Synths are tangible receptacles of their hatred of the Institute. Order them to help, and they'd mutiny. I'll work with you then. You have no idea how relieved I am to hear that. What I'm about to tell you is the most closely guarded secret the Railroad has. It's time you learn about Patriot. There's a man, or a woman, we're not sure, inside the Institute, who helps Synths escape to freedom. Dozens of Synths owe him their lives. We don't know his name, 
We've never had a way to contact him, so we gave him the code name Patriot. So you need to infiltrate the Institute and make contact with Patriot. I'll do my best. Excellent. Tom devised a way to send a message to Patriot. We can plant a coded message on an Institute terminal, and if all goes well, he'll respond. Just see Tom, and you can proceed from there. Oh, man, you were actually there? Inside the belly of the beast? If the Minutemen gave you a custom holotape, that's what I'm looking for. Anything that survived Institute security is gold. Here you go, Tom. We're in business. You know, I need... Shit, I'm already done. Just plug this baby into any terminal in the Institute, and our man Patriot will get back to you. Hey, it's Whisper. Whisper's back. I think we ought to talk. Can I talk to you? Something on your mind? The Institute knows about Bunker Hill. They're planning to recapture the synths there. The timing couldn't be worse. The old man's been sitting on those four synths. There's nowhere else that's safe we could put them. Maintaining your cover is vital. But this, the sacrifice is just too great. How much damage would it cause if, if, if we let them hit us? We're running out of places to hide our synths. That's why we put so many eggs in one crowded basket to begin with. So what would we lose? Four synths, Stockton, some of our best agents, and the inevitable civilian casualties? No, not this time. We've never known when and where the Institute would strike us next. But now we have a chance to turn the tables. We wait until the enemy is in position, then we hit them, hard. No one they send out comes back alive except you. Understand? Won't the Institute be suspicious if I'm the only one left? You're a lot tougher than anyone else in their outfit. If only one person could survive, it would be you. And any story you come up with won't be contradicted. We can't attack too early. We need to draw them into the kill zone, and then spring the trap. You'll know when. You'll probably have a coarser escort. You'll have to take him down. You've done it before, but it'll still be dangerous. Like you said, I've done it before. It's a risk, but it's one we have to take. So get it done. Glad you signed on. Me I might get to take the occasional... Good to see you. It sounds like those raiders at Libertalia were quite a handful. You know, I love my work, but I love being a father even more. Greetings. As the Institute's requisition vendor, I can provide supplies for your missions on the surface. How may I assist you today? Come now, Alan, it could have been anything. It was probably just a glitch Can in the Can I turn system. off the interferometer? The mode of control software an If it were just a limb twitching, but her eyes were moving as well. Involuntary twitching and rapid eye movement while sleeping can only mean one thing, Max. You just don't want to admit to yourself. If you're about to launch into one of your impassioned speeches about artificial symptoms and machines with souls, don't bother. I've heard enough of it, Mike. 
them down from them. But we can't just ignore the question. If a synth can dream, why can't it have a soul? And if a synth has a soul, then it is a living person by every standard we can measure. Of course it is far more comfortable to think of them as machines, so we can do what we want with them. If you disapprove of the work we do here, we know what to do. I'm simply trying to open everyone's eyes to new possibilities. Well, it's an unwanted distraction. We're men of science, not philosophers. We do well to remember that. Welcome to the Institute. Please step out this way. Excuse me. Hello. I'm new here. Good evening. Hey, it's me. So you're the one who sent the encrypted message. How did you even do that? I wasn't sure anyone on the surface would have a chance to crack Trinity. You know, the encryption algorithm. I'm not sure I should trust you. You're worried about me? If the SRB cracked Trinity, man, your message was only one word. Friend. What did you mean by that? The Railroad's in the business of helping Synths, too. That makes us friends. What? The Railroad? As in THE Railroad? I kept sending synths to the surface hoping someone would help them. I hoped the railroad got to some of them, but I never knew for certain. You've saved a lot of synths. So much to take in. But wait, with you in the picture, I have this idea. To rescue a lot of synths. At once. But we'll need help. Where's he working now? Right. Let's go to the West Atrium. Probably best to talk about something else right now. 
You know my father thinks it's a living hell on the surface. But that can't be right. Heck, you look positively normal to me. Uh, no offense. I'm not sure if we could ever make the surface actually a decent place to live. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't at least try to help, you know? Z-114, it's me. Sir, do you require something? It's okay, Z-1. She's a friend. She's with the railroad. Meeting here is dangerous. And you bring a stranger. You. How do I know we can trust you? Because the members of the railroad have dedicated their lives to fight for your freedom. I... I thought only Mr. Benet cared. But your friends actually fight for us? That's what the railroad does, Z-1. She's from the surface. I've never met another human willing to help. But, sir, we must make this quick. Right now. How many cents want to escape, Z1? The ones I know for certain? Thirteen. That'll take forever. Let's free those thirteen all in one go. I would do anything for my people. But how do we get them to the teleporter? It's no good. The old maintenance tunnels that lead there are always sealed. By the SRB. Hmm. If I can find a way to open those doors, could you get your synths to the teleporter room? Yes. We'll talk later. Someplace more secure. Just a few high security doors, right? Controlled by cutting edge SRB security tech. Yeah. A head on hack is the sucker play. So we go at them sideways. You're willing to help, right? I can't do this alone. It depends on what you need. Our core security architecture hasn't fundamentally changed from the old CIT days. The original security program was called Code Defender. Revolutionary stuff. We still have terminals running version 1, mothballed in storage. With some persuasion, I can get an old terminal to interface with the new security terminals. Enough to open doors, at least. Problem is, uh, I can't even crack version 1. So I need a good old-fashioned username and a password. And that's nowhere to be found in the Institute. But if you could get me a pre-war admin password from the surface, I could log right in. Where would I find that? Unfortunately, I don't know. The obvious place won't work. The CIT ruins were picked clean years ago, but some of the admins had to live off campus. Ask your friends in the railroad. I need those login credentials. Half of you know this already, but something so big. I can't ask people to keep it secret any longer. The rumor is true. One of our agents has made it inside the Institute. Is this what Tinker Tom was working on? Yes, Tom's work is related. But the device and the assembly was the Wanderer's doing. After the device was assembled, she made it inside the Institute and then back out. Where is the Institute? We're not sure exactly best guess is that it's somewhere under the old CIT. But they've been using a teleportation device to get in and out, so it could be anywhere. What did she find out? I know you all have questions, but I've said everything I'm going to. But know this. The ops you're planning and running now are the most important of our lives. We have a chance at rescuing more since than we ever dreamed of. So get it done. You... You're the real deal. You actually made it inside the Institute. 
Tinker Tom's cooking up something. I hope it goes better than last time. Welcome to the family. Desdemona, have you met with Patriot yet? I met Patriot. His name is Liam Benet. I knew you'd get the job done. We need every scrap of intel you picked up in there. Write up a full report on Pam's terminal. After you're done, we'll analyze it and figure out the next step. Get to it. Oh, we're damn, actually going, going to do this. Watched. Always. I don't know how yet, but we're going to rescue my people. When running synths out of a well, wastelanders can be fair. Systems locked. Building statistical model for Operation T. 